Kelly Marie Blundell of Guildford, who is the Regional Diversity Champion, uh, to come and propose the motion. Conference. In a liberal and democratic society, having a disability should not mean being a second-class citizen. If we as Liberal Democrats believe that, then we should move this motion and force a full and impartial review of the Welfare Reform Act. I've got a question for you. Do you know what a disabled person looks like? Quite simply, this is what a disabled person looks like. Yet, people in society and this is another disabled person. There are many disabled people. We are beyond not only being in wheelchairs. Many people in society see people with disabilities in two distinct categories. On one hand, you have the Paralympian, the man who is over, or woman who has overcome great diversity and great adversity in order to become a hero in the eyes of the public. On the other hand, you have the benefit scrounger, the man that takes money from your hard-earned taxpayers and is apparently dependent and unwilling to work. Do you know that disability hate crime has risen 75% in the last two years as a result of those views of people? Two-thirds of adults actively admit avoiding disabled people and 40% say that they see people with disabilities as being a burden upon society. But apart from the dis... Um, I apologise. <laughs> people with disabilities suffer horrendous attacks from physical attacks and name abuse for simply being out in the street. But apart from the difficulties of abuse faced by disabled people, they also struggle in other ways as well. When it comes to something as seemingly simple as getting around, disabled people are still woefully unprovided for, despite equality legislation. It's completely unacceptable across the UK that provision for disabled people is inadequate. Take London, for example the host of the Paralympics, and yet the area where there is only a handful of tube stations that have step-free access. Without immediate attention, people with disabilities are in danger of being excluded from society and marginalised at every turn, forced to become dependent upon other people. It's a brave government that tackles the mess that the benefit system has been allowed to become. Since Beveridge's report in the Second World War, generation after generation of conservative and, lib and Labour governments have tweaked and twisted and turned and added to benefit policy until now only qualified advisers are able to give people information on what they're entitled to. We, we, as the Liberal Democrats, should be proud of participating in sorting out the mess that the benefit system is in. However, we should not be allowing this to discriminate against disabled people. We should also be proud of the work that we have done in putting forward an impartial review into the work capability assessment, which, don't let's forget, Labour introduced as a cruel tick box process and was not fit for purpose. It was the Lib Dem amendment in the House of Lords that introduced Professor Harrington and his independent review of the work capability assessment centres. And it is that work that prompts the need to create a full and impartial review of the Welfare Reform Act. How we treat disabled people 
goes to the very heart of what we want society to look like. And it is vital that, even in very difficult economic times, the Lib Dems continue to protect support for people with disabilities. And of course, it's those very difficult economic times that are one of the reasons we are seeing support for disabled people being eroded. Some of you will argue today that the steps this motion proposes are too costly, that the welfare state is too large, and that the government cannot continue to support people in this fashion. But should money ever be a barrier to equality? Similar arguments were put forward about equality for other diversity strands, and they have been overcome. Why should disability be any different? One of the key elements of this motion is for investment into access to work. This is a fantastic initiative of which I am one such beneficiary. Without voice recognition software, I would be unable to work and reduced to one of those benefit scroungers that the right-wing press love to hate. The Shaw Trust has a centre in Neath that employs disabled people and does so with a range of adaptations that many people cannot even fathom. From braille computers that speak back to people with visual impairments through to computers that work on iris movement it enables people to be in work and thriving. This also shows the lengths that can be taken to get disabled people into work and the opportunities that are there for them. There is a clear benefit to society. We have 10 million people in the UK with disabilities, but only a quarter of them are in employment. If we can get even 1 million more disabled people in employment, they will help contribute to the society, but they will also thrive socially and mentally. At the heart of the motion is one clear, crucial concept. Empowering sick and disabled people to finally have equal citizenship. This can be done by removing barriers to disability uh, equality, to confronting prejudice head on, and tackling policies which force people to, in, with disabilities to be dependent upon others. The Liberal Democrats have the opportunity now in coalition to address the wide-reaching issues within current wel welfare policy through demanding this full and impartial review into the Welfare Reform Act, through demanding stronger consultation on the alphabet soup that has become disability benefits. Can you and bring your remarks to a close, please? Thank you. And through expanding schemes such as Access to Work and Citizens Advice Bureau. Conference, do not deny people with disabilities equal citizenship. Please support this motion.